Right guys, uh, a question we get asked a lot is about tire pressures. Now we pump these up and send them out. Uh, we unbox every single one before we ship and pump the tire up to 55 PSI. Um, as factory, out of the box are about 20 if you're lucky. Um, that's way too low if you jump off a curb at 20. You've got a, a higher risk of pinching the inner tube and giving it a puncture and you can possibly do that straight out of the box. Now, the lower the pressure, the easier it is to learn to ride, um, especially in a straight line. Um, so if you're really struggling at 55 PSI, bring it down to about 40 PSI and learn like that. Basic rule is the harder the tire, the less surface area is touching the road. Therefore, the more responsive it is, it's like being on a knife edge, the harder it is. Um, the softer it is, you're gonna find it more difficult to turn, but then there's more surface area, so you've got more to stand on. Therefore, less balance is required, and you can go in a straight line. So play between those PSIs, basically, and minimum 35, 35 up to, I think the maximum of this tough pressure is 65 on this tire. Um, 55 is good. Uh, the other things to consider if your tire pressure is high and you're riding on rough ground, your legs are gonna have to try and take more of the impact. The softer the tire, it acts more and more like a suspension unit. Um, so that's another thing you need to consider. If you're riding on a nice smooth surface, then high pressure's okay. If you're riding on rough ground a lot, then obviously bring it down a little bit to soften the impact or bend your knees more when you're riding, but it's more tiring. So you can get more fatigued if it's off-road and your tire pressure is high. The higher the pressure, of course, as well, if you get too high, um, you're gonna get less service area, less grip. So you've got to play between all those settings, but if you're first learning and you are struggling to learn, then bring the tire pressure down to minimum 35, but 40 should be good to go. Um, you get a nice surface area and your straight line will be good and you can still try and accomplish turns even at that PSI. Um, and then once you you get better you can then sharpen it up and go up to 60 55 60 psi and then you'll be turning real quick and nice and sharp into the bends um so basically anywhere between those pressures and i hope that kind of helps explain the debate around what tire pressure is best blah 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 um it is really once you can ride it is then down to the comfort level you want um, in terms of turning or in off-road then softer um play between them all and find out what's best for you. Real flat, then higher risk of pinching the tire, worse turning ability, higher pressure, super slick, um, and real sharp turns. So there's advantages and disadvantages to all of those and high fatigue if you've got high pressure. Hope that helps guys, bye.